Hi, it's Lee Kels here from Calderdale College. Um, I'm just doing another reflection for my second year of practice. I'm going to use the IPDP and um, online platforms as a reflection um, because since the start of the course I've had several problems um, with logging into mine and logging in to get the right access to things. Um, and even today, as I'm trying to get all the last sort of things uploaded onto my IPDP, the system's crashed um, and it actually deleted all my files at one point. Luckily I've been able to recover them, but they've come back on um, in a format that is completely the wrong way around. Um, so it's quite frustrating and obviously it'll be a little bit harder for people to mark if it is in that format and that's how I've got to proceed with it. Um, this reflects really upon the online platform systems that I've used myself. Um, in my first year as a tutor at Calderdale College we used a online platform provider, which I won't name, um, where the resources that were given weren't very good at all. They didn't allow my students to progress as they should um, and what I found was that I was adding my own things to the online learning system um, which is fine but given the fact of how much these things cost um, you would have thought that the resources would have been provided now I see a massive benefit in the online learning platforms because people can access um, the education anywhere at any time and given the course that I run um, for example this year we've had two people have ACL operations one person have an ankle operation which means they've been off college for a prolonged period of time so that's meant that I can obviously send them resources and they can access them from home um, at any point you know where they can sort of recover them and have a look and, and do the work for themselves um, with obviously support from myself now that's worked really well what our platform this year doesn't give us is in terms of the marking if I were to mark everything online um, it's a very very clunky system and takes an absolute age whereas compared to a couple of years ago the online learning platform that I used the marking was very quick um, I could highlight key areas and, and drop comments in and then give them an overall grade very quickly um, and as soon as I hit the send button it would send the feedback to, straight to the learner which really worked well um, the, the platform that I've built myself this year hasn't done this um, so I mean in terms of my reflection I think that there is a case for an online learning platform definitely because I've found it quite difficult this year to manage carrying back bags and bags of marking to and from home um, and obviously just keeping a track of it all. You know, I've got drawers that are full of people's work um, that I've marked and have not yet handed back and the likelihood of one piece of work going missing is quite high I think um, or not being put back in a folder in the right position or whatever, it, you know, things can go wrong with it. So in terms of that, I think the online learning platform is superb um, to keep everything obviously on, on a cloud as such um, and very easily accessible, very easy for the students to see work that they've already done or work that they're currently doing. And in terms of providing them resources to look at, it's a great tool. But what we've got to be very conscious of, I feel, moving forwards is that the software is um, sort of fully up and working and it's not going to as the IPDP has today I think probably shut down because of the amount of people using it at any one time. Uh, thank you.